Okay, welcome everybody. This is the week one lab activity. What you're required to do is read pages 1 through 13 and then answer the questions on page 13. Now there are six questions on page 13. Uh, you are only required to answer and turn in the first five questions. So question six you're not required to turn in. Just the first five questions. So let's go through the questions. Question number one says, go to the computer lab or your Excel document. Check to see if it has the analyst tool pack add-in. I'm going to explain how to do that in another video, so I'm skipping that step. The second step, if you have not already done so, enter in the TV ad count and the min slash hour data into the workbook. Now, you have to read the first 13 pages in order to do this assignment. The ad count, all this data is already in one of those pages. So I've entered that data in. If you look at my data here, I've entered that data in. Step three, save the workbook, save this page as book one ads. So you come up here, click on the uh, icon, the Windows icon there, save as, and then type in book one ads. I've already done it. Type in book one ads. It's an Excel workbook and hit save. And make sure you know what file and where, you, where you're sending that file to. Okay, so that's the data that we just typed in and if you look at here in the first column we've typed in the the header add and count and the second column uh, min and hour and then the data started on column two or row two uh, goes all the way down and then the other column has the uh, its data all the way down so I saved it. We just did step three. Step four, select the cells containing the labels and data and print. So they want you to print these cells. Just to print. We're, we're the label. So we want to just be able to print this. If you want to print this, all you do is come up to the upper left-hand corner, hit your left click on your mouse, and drag it down to the bottom. Then come up to the icon and hit print and that will print just the data it won't print your entire page it will print just the data that you want hit OK and print now there's no need for you to print this because I, I don't I, I'm not going to collect any papers I'm going to collect a file at the end of uh, step 5 so step 5 in column C place the quotient A divided by B in in the rows 2 through 21, use the formula bar in cell C2 and drag with a little plus sign. So what they want is they want you to do this column A and this column B. They want you to do A divided by B, and they want you to put the answer in C. And to figure out how to do this, once again, you have to read the pages 1 through 13. Pages 1 through 13 already explained how to do this. So I'm going to do the first row, 25 and 11.5. What you do is highlight the, C, the, the cell that you want the answer. Then you come up into your formula bar. That's it. So then you come up into your formula bar. And you have to hit an equal sign. Before you type in any formula, you have to hit an equal sign. And I want to type in this. This is A2. And this is B2. So I want to do A2. Cell A2. And I want to divide it by cell A or B2. As soon as you hit enter, the the answer pops up in silt and C2 because that's where I had it highlighted. So I'm going to delete that and then try that again. So I want to take A2 and divide it by B2. Come up here to your formula bar. Well, first of all, you have to click on the cell you want your answer in. I want my answer here at C. And I'm going to hit the equal sign to type in a formula. A2, cell A2. 
divided by cell B2, hit enter, and my answer is there. Now, I want to do this for every single row that we have, rows 2 through 21. A way to, an easy way to do that is click on your answer from up here in cell C2, and in the lower right hand corner, when you get the, the little black plus sign, you can click, left click your mouse and drag this down to the bottom. I drag it down to the bottom, let go, and it automatically does that calculation for each of the rows. Do you see how each row has their own calculation now? So that's where it says use the formula in cell C2 and drag it with the little plus sign all the way down. Now I'm on 5B. It says use the sum button to total up the add count column and the min hour column. So I want to add this entire column, the, the add count. The way to do that is highlight all the numbers you want to add. Left click your mouse. I'm going to add all these buttons. And in the home button over here, come way over here. and find your uh, sum button. I'm going to click on the sum button and it adds up. You see right down below it, it adds up. And it adds up to 419. I'm going to do the same thing for this column. Click on the top one, left click your mouse, drag it down to the bottom and find the sum button. It looks like that little sideways M. Click on it and it just added everything up in that column. So we just sum the column. Now we want to tell everybody those are the sums. So in the in the C22, I'm just gonna. I think it tells you tells us that. Oh, it says in D column. Type in the word sum. So it tells you that hey, we we 419 and 233.5 are the sum. And that's all you have to do. That is the first five steps. Now it says print this out. We don't want to print this out. You want to save this file and then upload it into your assignment folder. So I'm going to save it, save as, and it says book one ads. Just type in your last name after that. Save it and then send it upload the file into the assignment folder. I hope this helps.